we right here. So I'm walking out uh, of a mayoral forum with Wayne Gay Newton, council member of St. Petersburg City Council, and I had asked a question about Bank of America contract. As it turns out, uh, we've heard some stories from some other states of Bank of America paying bonuses to employees that would string out people in foreclosure long enough to guarantee that the people lost their house instead of letting them uh, refinance or making any other kinds of accommodations. And so I asked the three candidates, you know, if they would not only uh, support not banking with Bank of America anymore, but if they would even speak out against Bank of America and state the reasons why we're not going to do business anymore. So I just wanted to ask Wenge, since you're here, uh, what your thoughts on are, are on Bank of America and uh, what what do you think should be done with that RFP and Bank of America in general? Well, we, we that, when that RFP came with the renewal for Bank of America, it was pulled off the consent agenda. Um, and we had a public hearing in council on it. And it, the majority of council wanted to not renew that contract. Okay, the mayor was adamantly against that. He brought out staff and he said that... Uh, mayor Foster. Mayor Foster. He said the sky is falling. Uh, they're, in, they're, they're in our programs. They're in our payroll. They're so intertwined. It's like... Bank of America is inoperable cancer with the city of St. Pete, which means if you cut it out, the city's going to die. That's what he's telling us. And you also heard the mayor talk about uh, open bidding process. Who's going to be able to bid against somebody that does that deeply rooted in with the city that you can't get them out? You know, I mean, I don't care what the price is that we're not going to be able to afford to do that. So what council has instructed uh, city government to do is start winding those relationships down, getting them out, so we have some viable options. And also make up all, all of our different uh, accounting um, areas, uh, um, um, make, make them uh, Bank of America free or whatever, or any bank free. That way we can have a, a clear open bid process without worrying about if we don't do this, the sky is going to fall. And unfortunately, if Bank of America was felt, found guilty of those horrific practices of taking people home, I don't think the citizens in this city should be having their tax money managed by that bank. That's just a fact. I mean, and as mayor, as, as mayor, I would be adamantly opposed to any foreclosure that was I, I know of that was done by Bank of America in the city limits. As in strong mayor format, he has that kind of power. But you're not going to hear that. I mean, not, that's, that's not the lead, kind of leadership we have in place. Right, and you endorsed one of the candidates, and they, all three of them answered the question. Foster said um, it would basically be difficult. Yeah, and he blamed um, it on council. I heard him. He, right. he always puts it up on council. And uh, Christman said, you know, he was he was he was concerned and would look into it. And uh, well, I'll, I'll link to that video of those responses. And then Ford said, you know, absolutely, she would stand up. Right. And. Uh, and you know, I would I would hope tell off Bank of America, recommend the council um, get out of the you know doing business with them, because conversely, from from my point of view, it's it's not only, I mean, if if you're going to steal from from citizens, and the biggest customers don't care and they're going to keep doing business right. for you, right? Why would you stop? I don't. I don't think it's a good uh, practice to to normally have a a, a, a business partner that's defrauding the, the population or the, the constituency who ultimately pays this money through right. uh, um, property taxes, which is what they're taking their property. Right. And how do we know they're not stealing in other areas? Correct. And and, and, and back to your question, I'm, I did I I did endorse Kathleen for because I know she will go in and make a difference. The kind of decisions that need to be made, she will make them. No excuses. And when you yield that kind of power to whom much is given much as expected. So to hear the mayor waffle on that, it really bothers me. But I can tell you this, the mayor's in charge of staff and administration. So we can only make recommendations on him to get staff to do stuff. But we control the purse screen. So council really can vote that down. But of course, like I told you, if you go back and visit our council archives, you'll see the pandering that went on and, and the testimony about the world come to an end and we can't do this, we can't do that. And that was all the mayor and his staff. But council is adamantly uh, and vehemently opposed to doing business with Bank of America, the majority of council. Uh huh. So you, do you think that uh, when the contract comes around again that that the, it'll be... Hopefully it will because, you know, I, I'm totally against it. And we have half of the council and the mayor on the ballot right now. So I would 
strongly urge um, express upon you to go out and, 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 and get those council people that, that are buying to be on council and see where they're at on it. Uh -huh. Because if they're going to point it back to council and, and say that they have that power, then we can do it. And But we need them to also start winding down those relationships so it won't be a, uh, won't be a the sky is falling type testimonial thing and right. we can't get rid of them, you know. Right, because so that needs to be done ahead of time correct, so, that, correct. so we don't have these correct excuses the when, the, when the contract correct. comes up. And they always they think about it. He's sitting there, he's talking about he's all for open bid process. What kind of open bid process if you got to you take them out, you're going to die? You can't put anybody else in. Somebody can come in and bid. They do those services for half the money. But they, you couldn't use them because if you take out Bank of America, the world's going to end. Right. So that don't make any sense, and that's what the mayor's saying. But that's usually what you get from that mayor. So. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> All Thank right. you.